Hi, welcome to TechTricks Info. Today let's learn about exhaust gas recirculation system. You might have all heard this term related with the engines. Yeah, you are right. This is a technology which is used in automobile engines to reduce pollution. Specifically, the amount of nitrous oxides which are getting emitted to the atmosphere. Exhaust gas recirculation system is commonly called as EGR. So now the question arises, what does exhaust gas recirculation system do to reduce nitrous oxide? What EGR does is, it recirculates a portion of the exhaust gas to the combustion chamber because exhaust air is hotter than the intake air. EGR actually works by diluting nitrogen by supplying inert gases like carbon dioxide which actually works as an absorbent which reduces the combustion heat. This actually helps in reducing the peak in cylinder temperature and only at this high cylinder temperature nitrous oxides have been created. So this inert gases like carbon dioxide absorbs the cylinder heat thereby reducing the chances of nitrous oxide being created. As you know, nitrous oxide is formed when nitrogen, that is N2, and oxygen, O2, combines together at a higher temperature. So what easier does it? It limits the engine temperature at the cylinder or at the combustion point, thereby reducing the chances of NOx production because when temperature reduces, the chances of nitrogen to be combined with oxygen to create NOx, nitrous oxide, reduces. So thereby the production of nitrous oxide gets reduced. But obviously this heat reduction will reduce the engine efficiency a little bit. Most modern engines actually employs EGR to meet the emission standards like India it is BS3 and other countries like Tier 3 and Euro 3 standards etc. These are all emission standards. Now with the help of this diagram let's see how exhaust gas recirculation system actually works. So as you know when the engine works it requires air, atmospheric air and it sucks in the atmospheric air. So the major components of the atmospheric air are oxygen and nitrogen. Oxygen is about 20.95% and nitrogen is 78.09%. That is coming about 99.04% of the air in volume, that is dry air, is oxygen and nitrogen. And the other is actually carbon dioxide, argon and some other gases. So entirely it is dominated by nitrogen and oxygen, 99%. So now let's see, at the intake we have oxygen and nitrogen being sucked in. So here we have oxygen and nitrogen being going into the inlet manifold. Here now the compression and combustion takes place in, and what happens is that oxygen and nitrogen decomposes and results in the creation of nitrogen oxide, nitrogen dioxide and nitrous oxide. That is nitrogen oxide is one nitrogen and one oxygen atom. Nitrogen dioxide is one nitrogen atom and two oxygen atom and nitrogen oxide that means one nitrogen atom and two plus oxygen atom which is very harmful and it also creates carbon monoxide and also carbon dioxide so here what we want is we need to reduce the production of nitrogen oxides which is very harmful so what we have to do is we need to reduce the temperature inside the combustion chamber the engine works it sucks the atmospheric air so it has oxygen and nitrogen as 99 percent and it actually travels through the inlet manifold and gets into the combustion chamber. So when the compression and combustion takes place, the oxygen and nitrogen decomposes and results in the creation of nitrogen oxide, nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen oxides. We need to reduce the amount of nitrogen oxide being created which is very harmful. This is the inlet valve and here it is the exhaust valve. So when the exhaust happens, we have oxygen, nitrogen, nitrogen oxides carbon dioxide etc which actually escapes through the exhaust as you can see over here so here we have an EGR valve the EGR valve when it actually gets opened some of the exhaust is rerouted like this so this is actually the exhaust it goes outside towards the atmosphere and some of the exhaust get rerouted through the EGR cola so this is the EGR in and this is the EGR out so it comes through the EGR cola here the valve opens up so what happens some of the exhaust get back into the inlet manifold stream. So this is the inlet manifold stream. Through the inlet valve, it again goes into the combustion chamber. So some portion of the exhaust is getting rerouted. That means 
some amount of nitrous oxide which is harmful some amount of nitrogen dioxide nitrogen oxides get rerouted even carbon dioxide get rerouted through the EGR cooler and gets back to the inlet manifold the EGR valve over here opens up when it gets a back pressure from the car exhaust so when it opens up some of the exhaust gas reroutes through here through the inlet manifold and gets into the combustion chamber as you can see over here when the exhaust is getting rerouted here it travels through an easier cooler what it exactly does is that when it travels through the cooler it cools the exhaust gas and when the fuel is getting mixed with the cooled exhaust gas the combustion happens a little bit cooler the fuel mixing with the exhaust gas burns a bit cooler so this likely reduces the chance of creation of nitrous oxide because nitrous oxide normally creates at a high temperature only so when the temperature gets reduced over here because of the cooling happening so a cooler air is coming inside it reduces the amount of nitrous oxide being created so this is how exhaust gas recirculation system reduces the amount of nitrous oxide the harmful emission component which is happening through the exhaust so NOx reduction is one of the most important feature of EGR and EGR also helps in imparting the NOx resistance and reducing the need of high load fuel enrichment in SA engines and also for improving the ignition quality of difficult to ignite fuels in the diesel engine. So that too are also the function of EGR. So we believe you got an idea, the basic idea and functioning of the exhaust gas recirculation system. Please share this video so that your friends can also learn about this. You can share this in your social media so that it can reach them. Please like and comment to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.